Hi, I'm Amber from Ultimate Pilates. Today, you're going to join me for a triple A class. Arms, abs, and ass, all in that order. Okay, so let's get our set up. Jump board is in, make sure it's tightened up. You have one blue spring on. And if you want to, you can also add for more resistance your booty band and a ball, which will help us later connect into the abdominals. Let's just get started, guys. On your knees, like me, take a deep breath in. I want you to center yourself. Work from the ground up. We're going to take two deep breaths in. Lifting up, breathing in. Pull up all the air into your lungs and expand to the side of the body. Fill up. And as you exhale, I want you to squeeze your ribs. Exhale. Squeeze your ribs together tightly, centering your body. Again, take a deep breath in. Fill up all that air in the body. Expansion, a little bit more. Suck it in and up. And then let's let it out. Let's squeeze the body inwards and upwards. Exhale. Shh. Empty every last drop out. Good job. Okay, let's get going. We're facing the back of the carriage. Be careful, it's a moving carriage. Um, and we're also going to put our bands on, okay? So for more of a challenge, I'm placing my bands around my thighs as an option. I'm just getting it there so it's ready, so we can keep flowing, okay? I'm not gonna use it so much in the beginning, but it's nice to keep our leg alignment position. Okay, so opening your knees so you get a little bit of tension on that band. Pick up your, just above the kneecap so it's comfortable. Pick up your straps. Now, be careful, you don't wanna pull on them and fall over. Choke up on your straps. Let's get our body down to a nice flat shape. So it's nice leaned over position. Roll the shoulder blades down and back. Take a deep breath in to prepare. And then we're going to do a nice good morning stretch. So like you're yawning, the right arm up, the left arm down. Exact amount of tension on both arms and come back. So we're just starting by connecting the front and back of the body again. Deep breath in and open up those arms as wide apart as you can. Feel that width across your back. Tuck your chin in, scoop your tummy, and come back. I'm going to knock my ball over here. Two more. We have a sandstorm in Dubai here a bit today, so I'm just indoors. It's a bit foggy and sandy. Last one. Open up, just stretching over those arms. Cross your straps over. Continue with that nice hinge position. Walk your fingers up on the ropes even further. Scoop your tummy, looking down. Bend your elbows, trying to crack your shoulder blades. Crack the nuts between your shoulder blades and release. Again, breathing in. Keep your neck out of it and really just trying to open up the back of the body. Two more. Last one. And we're pulsing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. We're going to move on to a single arm flow. Put your right strap down. I have my left strap in my hand. I'm coming down. I've got my right hand on my shoulder rest. Get your body into a nice tabletop position. So you get your knees all the way back. My feet are all the way back towards the jump board. Knees under your hips. Make that nice flat table shape. Take a deep breath in. Stretch your arms slowly all the way back by your waistline. And come back. Deep breath in. Let's go. Breathing in. Making space in that body. And then exhale. Squeeze the air out. Keep your tabletop, keep your centering. Breathing in. And exhale. So my body is not moving around. The work is keeping the stability, of course. Squeezing that arm back. Now this may be enough for you. I want to give lots of options today. So it's suitable for all levels. You can continue with this. The focus is on the arms. If you can, we're going to open the opposite legs. The right leg opens as you squeeze back and pop that knee back down. 
again, little fire hydrant, squeeze out. Watch your balance. You've got to tighten that core so much. And maybe tiny little move that you make. Exhale. Woo. Two more like that. Softening your shoulders. Keep the carriage smooth. Can we hold? Ooh, I'm getting tired already. Can we hold the last one out? Hold it there and pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, fire. Nice work, guys. Shake those arms up for a moment. Good job. Then we're going to do the other arm. Okay, so the right hand. Same thing. Bring your left hand on your shoulder rest or down on the carriage. Set the shoulders back. Get that nice tabletop position. No change in there. Scoop the tummy. Look down. Deep breath in. Pull up those lungs. Slowly slide the hand back. I'm not pulling. You don't want to be shoving and pushing your body around. You want to start to work in with this carriage. So make it more effortless in your movement. Breathing in. Filling up your lungs. Squeeze your tummy on the way back in. Exhale. And again, breathing in. Stretching that hand all the way back to the hip. And come back. Three more, guys. If you can, do you want to try and add that little fire hydrant? Squeeze it up whenever you're ready. Lowering back down. So we're combining the glute workout now, the oblique workout, total body. I did say triple A. Arms, abs and ass. I didn't warn you, we would be doing it all at the same time. Three more. Squeeze up there. Two more. Last one, hold your control. Can you hold it here? Hold it up there. Pulse it. Eight, seven, six. Keep the pelvis quiet, no movement. Four more. Three, two, one. Whew. Excellent job. Release the strap and get your box on. So now stand up, take your band away from your legs. We're going to move it onto your hands. But first, I've got a really nice tricep series. I'm going to place your box towards the back of the carriage, depending on the height. The taller you are, the further back the box will be set up. Get your straps out of the way to the side so they don't get in the way. And then we'll come on top of our carriage. So if it feels too far away, you bring it closer. Amazing arm connection work we're going to get for you now. Let's slide these hands in, just below your elbows, okay, below your elbows. Come on top here. Position your arms, okay, so they're nice and straight. They're not falling in, so I'm working into my shoulders. Take a deep breath in here, and then I need you to position so that your shoulders are further back. See, I don't want your shoulders over here. See, over your elbows, you need them behind. Okay, so get your, hand, your shoulders back. Sorry, I'm losing my band here. Shoulders are back slightly and then shh. I'm not moving my legs. All I'm doing is hinging in a sore position from my shoulders. Forward and back. Nice and simple to begin. Feel those shoulders really warming up. Scoop your tummy. That's working, of course, as well. Try and keep that flat back position if you can. Good. Two more. Last one. Can you hold it in for pulses? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release it back. We're adding on. If this is enough, you do another set of this. If you want more, stay with me. Take a deep breath in. Hinge those shoulders forward into that sore. Hands are flat. Push, push the band apart, come up to your hands. Oh my goodness. Take the carriage back and then lower your elbows down. Okay? Again, breathing in. Hinge forward from the shoulders. Hold it there. Hold that tension. Press out of your hands. Don't let it go. Feel the shake. Halfway back. Don't touch the stopper. Down. And 
in. Oh, you really feel this connection point. Go small, guys. Go slow. Let's go. Lift up. Stretch out. Down. Pull in. Two more. Down. And in. Last one. Down. Woo. Relax for a moment. If it feels too much, you always have the option of going down to a yellow spring. Okay? We're working pretty heavy here. Now we're reversing it. You ready? We're coming straight up onto those hands. Keep your connection here. Pull the carriage in. Woo. Down. Let the carriage go out. Again, press. Pull in. Down. And let it go. Two more. Pull it in. Down. Release. Last one. Down. Woo. My triceps are done from that. <laughs> Good job. Take your band away, guys. Nice work. Okay, let's move our box now to the uh, side of the carriage. Okay. Now we're going to get moving a bit faster in that body. So we're going to take the box to one side. Looking at the front of the carriage, I have my box on my right side. Up close here. Perfect. We're going to come down. We're going to do some... Um, oh, actually, sorry guys. I almost forgot the ab flow there. Bring the box back. So I've reversed the order today. Sorry about that. Bring the box back up there. Get your ball. If this gets too much, you can lower your tension. Sit down like so. Again, depending on your height. You want to be able to touch here. So for me, that's a little bit short. I'm moving my box back a little bit. Okay. Further back it is, the harder it's going to be. To make it easier, bring your box in. Sit on top of the box. Get your ball. Place it behind your sit bones. You don't need a ball. It can be a bit annoying because it can pop out. It just helps with your tummy to begin. So, sitting up tall here. Deep breath in. Think about Mac Pilates now. You're coming back into your C curve. So we're scooping from within, getting into contact with this ball. Feel that strong contact, pulling your abs into the ball. Hold your hands down on the table. Keep that C curve shape, no bulging. And then we exhale. Shh, draw the carriage in with both feet. Slowly release it. Don't move the shape of your body. The spine stays the same. Again, shh, exhale. Pull those legs into your lower tummy. Release. Again, pull. Scoop. Three more. Feel that shake. If you're not feeling it, guys, scoop more. Or maybe remove the ball and really feel that stomach. Okay, you should really feel this a lot. But it just depends how much uh, rollback you have C curve in your lower back. Can we try a single leg? Take your left foot off. Pulse. Scoop it. Try not to release the carriage the entire way because every time you do that, you lose tension on your carriage. So you want to stay with that spring. Four. Three. Two. One. Change feet. Holding that tension. Scoop deeper. Scoop. Four. Three. Two. One, bring both feet up, take the ball away. Try it without now. Deep breath in, same thing, we're sitting up tall. Curl back, let your carriage go, but not to the stopper. Roll back in your lower abs, and let's curl it. Scoop it in. Again, let's curl it. Scoop tight. Good. Come back deeper in your lower back now, if you can. Woo. Find that shape, find that quiver point. Work for it, guys. Four more. Can you take one foot away? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Ooh, it's burning in my deep abdominals now. Two. One. Try and relax your neck and shoulders. Round from your spine. Other side. Eight. Seven. Six, deep core. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Okay, now let's get the box off. Move it to the side of the carriage. 
As I said, I'm putting mine on the right side. We're gonna move into some jumping now. So I like to use the ball as a bit of a headrest. It's an option, otherwise it's not necessary. And we'll put the band back on. We're gonna add some springs now. We're gonna add one red. So you've got one red and a blue spring. Lie down on your back. If you want to work light, if you just want to work more into your core, I'd recommend just one red spring. But I always like to work a bit stronger. But just don't be pushing and shoving your body around. That's not the goal. Okay, so you just want to feel it in your core. You can put the ball under your head if you like. I'm just going to put my headrest up. I prefer that. And lift the headrest up. Good. Okay, let's stretch out nice and long. Straight, lengthen your legs out, spread your toes apart, and just bend in. Scoop that tummy. Little hops. I always like to start with those little hops. The body stays still. Rib cage and stomach squeezing down tight. Breathe in to jump so you get that expansion, and exhale to land and close your frame. Try not to be pressing your shoulders into it. Stay relaxed here. Strong in your arms. We start little flies into the band. Squeeze. So staying really stable in that pelvis. No jumping around. Four more. Three. and one. Nice work guys. Just a quick warm up there for the core. We're going to roll to the side. I will have my back towards you because I've got my box on my right. Okay. It's just side jumping. Okay. So turn straight over onto your side. Roll over. I want you all the way down. It's nice to have that ball underneath you for this one. Get the headrest flat. Ball under you. Your head is just here, okay? My shoulders are underneath the shoulder rest. Press out, then get comfortable, okay? Check your positioning that you have a small opening in this underside, but your ribs are down. Bottom foot is off. Long line through this top leg. Hips are stacked, pelvis still. Breathe in, little hop. Landing softly. Think about knee, ankle, and hip. Folding at exactly the same moment in time to get that nice hinge. But your side waist is not doing this, okay? It's not moving around. Keep it still and long and lifted. Can we go into flies now? Only do flies if you can keep your pelvis still. If you feel it wobbling about, keep your foot down on the couch. Good. Four more. Should be really getting some fire now into those glutes. Three. Two. And one. Woo. Excellent work, guys. Coming straight up onto your box now. Okay. Take your band off. Let's stand up. Now this is a bit of a tricky one to understand. Take one spring off, so you're left with one red spring only on the carriage. Take the blue off. Get your box in nice and tight. Depending on the height of your carriage, this will change a little bit, but the move is exactly the same. The higher up, you're going to be level. It's a bit harder when we're higher up. We're going to get more work into the glutes. So my left foot is on the diagonal away from the carriage, right foot, I lean onto my foot bar to hold on, my right foot is back here by the shoulder rest. A nice lunge position, if you feel wobbly, hold on with your hand here, slowly, all I do is bend my front leg, my box leg, back leg is not pushing, I'm using my front leg only to go into that nice lunge and then stand up, I'm thinking about straightening this leg, but it's difficult when you're up this position. If you're on a higher frame, you will stand straight. Let's go, breathing in. Press into that heel and come up. 
Excellent. Keep going, guys. Keeping that body in that nice diagonal line. You can reach your arms out for more of a challenge. And come up. Don't close the springs completely, remember. Slide out of tension. And let's go down. So the only thing I'm using is my left leg. So this exercise is for the left glute, in particular, high up here. It's not for the right side. That side is just moving. Smoothly. Two more. Bending the standing leg. And come up. It's not an easy one because we're on the diagonal. Can you hold here? We're going to move into moonwalker. Bend the back knee and pull it back. So now my front leg is straight. All I'm doing is a small little bend of my back leg. Connecting there. Hold on if you need to, guys. Yeah. Three more. Two more. Now hold it back here. Can you even hold on to your bar if you need to? Lift your front heel up. Scoop your tummy. Hold it there. Scissor your legs in and out. Try to use both legs now. Scissor and down. Scissor. Two off. My glue is on absolute fire here. Mm. Hold it there. You know what I want to ask for? I want you actually to squish mosquitoes. I've got a lot of mosquitoes in my house at the moment. Bites all over me. Stomp the mosquito with this front heel. Keep this carriage still. Just stomp that mosquito. Hip square. Stomp it. Three. Two. Hold the heel up. Bend the back knee. If you need to, hold on here or move your foot closer. In and out. Three. Two. One. Woo, nice work, guys. Shake that out. You should really be feeling that left side of your glute. Excellent job. Let's come down. We're going to do one more glute one. We're going to lower down to a blue spring. So put a blue spring on. We're still working that left side. And we're going into flamingo. But we're going to start on our knees to make it easier. So tummy, glute one. You may know donkey kick, flamingo similar, but standing. Put your foot into the big strap. One glue on. Be careful if you come up to the full version. You're standing up. Level one is just kicking that leg out. You know this one. But what I want to try today is a standing version. If you don't think I'm crazy, fine. <laughs> Stay down on your knee and just do the press out. Your toes are touching on the floor if you've got the lower reformer. My right foot is to the side of my carriage and I slowly, I'm bending my standing leg, scooping my tummy, keeping my back straight and pulling back and coming down slowly. With control, guys. You can't pull this one around. You'll pull yourself over. <laughs> Getting that full line connection. So nice. If you can, scoop that tummy. Lift up higher, higher, higher. Slowly and controlled. Good. Couple more. <laughs> Keep your balance. I'm going to try and do another one in a second. So it's a bit like donkey kick, but in a standing, call it flamingo. So we're going to come up, bend your knee carefully, really wide. Try and keep it higher than your foot. Keep your control, your center. Knee in line with your hip and press it out. Watch your balance, guys, carefully. Bend it in, slowly. Again, press out. Slowly in. Again, exhale. Find that contrology in your body. Scoop. Two more. You can be doing this other option on your knee. Remember, it's a high donkey kick on your knee. Last one. Should be really burning to the right side, actually. Woo, good job. Okay, take your strap out carefully. Come down. Come back to your knees. We're going to do flamingo on the other side. And then we'll reverse pattern around. Okay, so we're going straight into this. Bring your foot into the strap. I'll show you the kneeling version first. Bring your knees back. You always want those knees under your hips. Pretty similar position for everything. And we're just stretching back. Nice and easy. And back in, using those oblique muscles. If you can, bring your toes down for safety, maybe to the floor, let the carriage come in. Shift your body weight over this side of the frame. Left foot is closer to the edge. Hands here, keep your frame square. 
Bend your standing leg and scoop your tummy. Lift this leg up. Long. No twisting hips. And come down. Just in line with your hips or less. And come up. Good. And coming down. Keep going with that, guys. Long lever here. Two more. Last one. Ooh, can you hold it up there? Can you bend the knee wide towards your shoulder? Squeeze it up. Best looking flamingo you've ever seen. Come on. That's why I'm wearing pink, right? <laughs> Let's keep going. Exhale. Good. I was actually inspired by a friend of mine. He's a Pilates instructor. I haven't done this flamingo one in a long time. Jugana. Two more. Squeeze it out. Last one. Ooh, good job, guys. It's not easy. Come down to your knee for safety. Take your strap off. And let's come around and take the box around to the other side. It's going to get dark in here. hope I can fix this lighting. It's looking darker and darker. I should have stayed outside. Okay, so it's going to be a bit close to you for you to see me. Box is in close. Change your spring now to a red spring. So we're standing on our boxes, that down, facing on this diagonal line. So it's the opposite leg, it's different than we'd normally do scooter, okay? The right foot is on the box, the left foot on the outside leg steps back towards the shoulder rest. Hold on for safety if you need to. Take a deep breath in or standing up. Bend the standing leg only. Working into that right side now. And then coming back up. And again, let's go down deep. All the way, even deeper. And coming up. Scoop the tummy. Keep that pelvis nice and still. Two more guys, all the way up, all the way in. Last one, we're gonna hold down here. Hold it there, and then moonwalk that back leg in, bend it, and out. Only bring it in under your hip, it doesn't have to come in very far at all. I actually find it harder like that because I have to really work to keep my hips and pelvis quiet. Whew. Three more. Two more. Last one. Good job, guys. Hold it out. Stretch there. Can you lift the heel up? Squish that mosquito for me. Keep the carriage still. Squish it. Heel up and down on the box leg. Everything else is still. Three more. Two more. Hold the heel up. And then scissor both legs. Really press weight into the ball of the front leg. Work on that scissoring the inner thighs, the adductors together. Whew, couple more. Last one. Hold it out, hold it out, back knee comes in. Out. Stay up high on that front foot. You've got this, stay with me, work for it. Whew, my legs are finished, trembling. Two more. Last one. Oh my goodness. Come in. Well done. Take your box away. We are almost there. Checking time. We'll make the under half an hour. Oh, I hope this is not too dark. It's looking very dark. Okay. Um, add on your blue spring. Just got those side jumps to finish. And we are out of here. Nice stretch and we're done. Place your, put your band on if you have it. And let's lie down on your side, grab your ball to use as a headrest or a block or something. Lying down, 
So my shoulder's are always underneath the shoulder rest, okay? Stretch out, hair out of the way. Take that top foot forward. Get your positioning in your straight leg position. Yeah, little opening, little gap under your waist. Breathing in, bend in, sink into your hips, but lengthen out of your waist. That's the hard part, and jump. So trying not to collapse the upper body. Little hops, breathing. So I'm landing super light on the board, scooping the tummy, trying not to push everything around. Stay still and control. The work is coming from under your body, right? Ooh, this right glute is really tired. Okay, stay like this. This may be enough for you. You can keep that pelvis really still. Just keep jumping. Such a great move anyway. Then if you can, lift up into that band. Don't shift that pelvis around. Keep it small. Keep it focused. Knee is in line with your second toe. Don't let it drop down. Keep pushing that band up. Woo. Four more. Three, two, and one. Woo. Yeah, my body's a bit tired today. Lie over onto your back. Good job, guys. Take the band away. Uh, either side, let's cross the left foot to start. Press the knee open and just breathe here. Deep breath in, filling up your lungs. Exhale. Shh. Again, breathing in. And exhale. Shh. Change sides. Breath up. Let that carriage kind of traction you in. Breathing in. Exhale. I'm not even doing the squeeze into my chest because this is enough for me today. But if you want to, you of course can bring those hands under. Squeeze in. Pull both knees into your chest and just wiggle side to side. And then come up to sitting. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you do, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe. And remember, I am selling these home reformers. And so, yeah, if you have any inquiries, please follow my links, my website links, my social media links. And I hope to...